Hello and welcome to another episode of Modernist Mixing. Today, me and my assistant who's sleeping on my lap, my dog Jesse, will be mixing a track from the Roswell Audio microphone company. Basically, they made a session of a live band recording using their mics. So I'll leave the link below in the description. Basically, it shows you which mic was used on which source and the artists and production credits, etc. You can download the tracks from their website directly. So we'll start right with the drums. What we have is the kick and two overheads, so then no snare mic. We have two bass mics, uh, one guitar, one mandolin, one acoustic. Uh, we have organ, a violin, a grand piano, uh, and then vocals. And I downloaded the uh, the mix that they put on the Roswell website. So this is the mix that's found on the YouTube video, basically. So I'll mix my track. Uh, I'll do my mix, basically, and see how close we got to the official mix. So I'll just get rid of the tracks that I'm not going to use. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put this here. So if you're interested in mixing, uh, if you'd like to find out more about my mixing methods and my mixing templates, I have a Patreon page, which I'll link in the description. Basically, I explain how I set up my routing, how my effects are set up, and what my logic is, what my strategy is for mixing. And I go into deep dives for each instrument and explain why I do and how I do it. So if you're interested, you can check out my Patreon. But, I mean, what I do is fully visible, 100% visible. Nothing is, you know, secret, no uh, secret source to mention. It's all done in this video also. So I'll probably spend about, I don't think we have too many tracks, I'll spend about half an hour mixing this, and then we'll see how close I got to the official mix, which I downloaded off the YouTube video, which can be found on the Roswell Audio website. Okay, so let's get to it. By the way, I haven't listened to the track in full, but I understand it's like a slow, acoustic, uh, folk rocky type of song. So let's see. Uh, we don't have any of these. We don't have a second kick track. I might add a trigger for the kick. We have two bass tracks. Guitar. And vocals and backing vocals. And a double vocal here. Okay. So I'll roughly get these the same volume. Yeah. We don't want that the volume difference to trick our ears, making us think it's better. Okay, so let's start with the drums. Let me get rid of my early reflection reverbs a bit. We might reintroduce these later. Oops. Okay, and oh, I'll use the transient shaper instead. Yeah, I think it's missing some thump, so I'll trigger some sub-bass frequencies using Slate's trigger, so I'll get rid of the direct and the room. This is empty anyway, so I'll add some kick sub. Let me just play with the curve, so I want the attack to be a few millise milliseconds right after the initial attack of the kick we have here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. This looks fine. Let me bring in the overheads. So normally I have close mics on the snare, obviously, so I won't be able to get rid of this that much. So what I'll do is I'll make the overheads work for the snare. So I'll just copy this over. You know what, what I'll do is, I'll leave the EQ like this, but I'll add another transient shaper and, where is that? There we go. And I'll do this multiband and I'll reduce the sub 100 Hertz frequencies. Yeah, that boxy low frequencies dies down much more sooner. Okay, so that's the drums. Let me make sure that the volume is at a reasonable level. So I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to... Yeah, that's good. And I'll raise the volume. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Okay. So I'll turn this on. Sorry, that's going to be in solo. Yeah, okay. So let's bring in the bass. So we have two bass recordings. I guess they're from different mics. Let's have a listen to the first one. I can't hear much difference. Let me check the website and see what they used with the bass. Mm, bass was recorded direct. That sounds direct, but why do we have two? Maybe some different takes. Okay, what I'll do is I'll use the second bass take. Bass take, sorry. I'll copy this over. So this is my sub bass track. <laughs> Introducing the mid bass track. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so this is going to be the wide bass track so i'll filter out the lows and a bit of the highs and then add i'll add the space modulator yep lovely let me bring in the drums and see how they play together To chorusy, I'll reduce this. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, 
So we're on to the guitar. So let me look at the other instruments. So we have organ, we have a piano. So let me see what the piano is playing. Okay, what I'll do is I'll make the piano the focus of the song. So I'll only remove the very low end and some of the low mids. Good. So this is the main instrument. I'll bring this a bit higher in the list. So I'll have the other instruments play around the piano. So basically what we have with the drums and the bass. So this is our track. This is our backbone of the track. So I'll have the electric guitars playing a somewhat secondary or even smaller role. Yeah, nice slap back delay so we can get rid of this. So this can be in the center ish because it's a high instrument, and I'll get rid of all of the low end on this. Tiny bit of bleed. So the organ. This has a lot of low end that needs to be removed. I can send this to the plate and add some distortion. Um, ta -ta -ta. Maybe this, a tiny bit of clon. So I'll put the EQ after, but I'll reduce the gain. Yeah, lovely. Even more dark plate. So what's this? Okay, so this is like counterpart to the mandolin. And what I'll do is I'll send the reverb on the opposite side. Yeah, okay, so what we have so far is the instruments and the drum and bass. So let's see how they play together.
think I'm going to add a gentle compressor on the piano. So this. Yeah, okay, so this is the vocal. That's when I song coming in the devil walk inside. Okay, so I'll turn my basic chain and my basic effects on. Uh, I didn't check the. Hang on, let's see. Track guides. No BPM information, so what I'll do is I'll just tap it in. Yeah, 67, 68-ish, okay. So that's the eighth delay, that's our slap. And some more reverb, and let me do the EQ real quick, oops. I think it was clamping a bit too much on the initial consonant, so let's see. What I'll do is I'll now turn on the bus effects for the vocals, and this has another set of compressors. So these, because they are not direct doubles of the main vocal and they have like this timing thing going on with one coming in a bit later than the other uh, I'll pan them only half left and right so I'll turn on the basic chain and turn on the reverb and take a road on and take a road for free and take a road So we have, I think, harmonies here. Follow me, and he caught me in the fog. He said that I will fix your rag if you take Jack, my dog. I said, wait a minute, Chester. So this is playing like a counter. You know I'm a peaceful man. He said, that's okay, boy, won't you feed him when you can? What's this? You can say, it's just so you can lose waiting on the judgment day. You know what? This is a female vocal, so I'll have to treat it a bit, a tiny bit differently. EQ-wise, that is. So, let's can sit in the left, and I'll... Send the reverb right across the left channel. Uh, I'll do the same for this vocal as well. So their reverbs is not clogging up the center track. Oh, go down, Miss Moses. Ain't nothing that you can say. 
It's just so you can lose weight on the judgment day. Well, do my prayer. What about your family? I wonder if these are meant to become the main vocals for this section, and this one takes like a back seat. I'll try that. I'll, what I'll do is I'll automate the volume and panning. So once this second vocal kicks in, I'll pan it a bit to the left and I'll lower the volume a few dBs, maybe like five or so, because it's being fed into the main compressors on the bus. Go down and this Moses, there's nothing that you can say. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, I imagine this was what they decided to do. I mean, I, I could be totally making this up, but, you know, I don't know. So I'll pan this to the other side for this section. Okay. So that's good. What's this? There's another vocal here. Take me on down the line. On my bag is sinking low. This is a direct harmony, so I can get rid of most of the low end and the high end and push it around one and a half K. Oh, and I do believe it's time to get me back to Miss Fanny. You know she's the only one who sent me here with her regards for everyone. What I'll do is I'll send this. I'll actually add some slap on this. Take me on down the line. My bag is sinking low. Yeah. And I do believe it's time to get my back to Miss Fitty. You know she's the only one who sent me here with her regards for her. So we can obviously push this a bit more volume wise, let's see. So get my back to Miss Vitty. You know she's the only one. You don't want to clip it this much. Who sent me here with her regards for everyone? Take a load on family. Yeah, 1.7 dB. So I got two of these and they're mono. Uh, basically they're mono process meaning that there's a splitter that splits the channel into left and right and this works in a dual mono setup so it's not clipping the stereo signal based on the level of maybe one side so if something's happening on the left that needs clipping this will take care of it same for the right and I have the same setup for my L2 com uh, L2 limiters because they don't have a dual mono functionality but the limitless my main limiter has a, um, what is that? Yeah, separation and stereo link. So, sorry, just the stereo link. So stereo link set to 0% means that it's working independently on the left and right channels. So this main vocal is a tiny bit too bright for my taste. I'll probably something around here will work. You catch the cannonball now to take me on down the line. My bag is sinking low, and I do believe it's time to get my back to Miss Vitty. You know she's the only one who sent me here with her regards for everyone. Take a load on family. Take a load for free. Take a load on family. Yeah, you put 
a load, puts a load right on me. I don't know, I think it's a bit too too bright. Let's see. Take a load off Fanny. Take a load off Freedy. Take a load off Fanny. Yeah. Take a load off Freedy. Take a load off Fanny. Yeah. You put the load, put the load right here. Take a look for free Take a look on Fanny yeah. Is the bass too loud? I don't know well, Let's Actually let's leave the main bass bus But I'll reduce the low bass So the subs that are produced by this sub synth so I, what I do is I filter out all of the highs and I send it to a compressor, which is gently compressing it. And then I send it to the sub synthesizer, which is adding some sub harmonics. And basically it's, it's adding around like maybe 30 to 50 hertz or so. And then it's limited gently, transparently with a long release. And then it's sent to the ducker. So that's being ducked against the kick. Yeah, sounds okay to me. Um, I'm going to 27 minutes since the video started. Okay, so I'll be listening to the... Uh, well, the reference is from the YouTube video from their website. So I just converted it into an MP3 using one of the online tools. So um, this is the first time I'm going to listen to the actual mix they did. So moment of truth. Let's see. Miss Moses, there's nothing that you can say. Is this all you can look waiting on a judgment day? Say, look, my friend, what about young man? So, what they did was they completely eliminated this bit the vocals of this guy when she sings, and I guess they did the same for this, but I mean, my solution was also, okay. Go down this Moses. Go down this So, yeah, okay, so they have some talking in the beginning. I'll move this around. Well, so where's the song start for me? Um, so this is like the downbeat. Let's see. I'm not positive that this is the same recording, but let's see. Uh, actually, yeah, we do have the electric guitar in the beginning, so I'll move this. Yeah. So let me bring this right below the... So something like this will probably line up the two tracks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'll move the reference back where it was at the end of the track list. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll A, B it between my track, like so. So that's my mix. And when I solo this track, that's the reference mix. So let's go again. Rode in 
Need some place where road into Nazareth finds a feeling about half past there. I just need some place where I can play my head. Well, Mr. Canyon, tell me where man might find a bear. Maybe one dB of volume matching is needed, so I'll just raise this another dB. He just grinned and shook my head, and that was all he said. And take a long run for me, and take a long for free, and take a long run for me. Yeah, you put a load. The low right on me Obviously panning decision differences so they've panned several instruments right in the middle uh, in the center track and their mix is quite bright so remember I had removed like the excessive top end so what I'll do is I'll just give this back so it's tonally also closer to what they did. I don't know why they didn't use the whole stereo spectrum. I mean, I, I can hear that the two vocals they have here are like panned in the center. And the guitars are not panned as wide as I have. They panned the piano to the left. The acoustic is on the right, but the electric is on the center channel. So, I don't know. Uh, let, let me see how that works out with my mix. So, I'll pan the piano to the left. I'll pan the guitar to the center. Let's see if that changes much basically One thing I like my mix better is uh, the, the the overheads. They're a tiny bit too too crunchy for my taste for this for this kind of song. So listen to the hat and listen to the hat with my mix. I mean, despite me boosting the highs, I did boost the highs, didn't I? Yeah, I'm boosting the highs. Not not too much, but it's considerable since it's a wide boost. So. My hats are still a bit softer than their mix, so listen to the hats. Volume-wise, my overheads are lower, uh, but with their mix, I find it's kind of like distracting me away from the vocals. Go down this Moses, there's nothing that you can say. It's just so you can lose waiting on a judgment day. Say, Luke, my friend, what about your Italy? You said. Take 
obviously wrong panning location. So if this wasn't a speed mix, what I would do is I would get the phrases a bit more aligned with this vocal. Uh, if I was to keep this, I mean, I could easily just do what they did and mute this guy for this section, like so. So... Let's see, is there like a solo somewhere? I think there is. Wait, why is the snare so paper like? So basically, uh, the way they EQ'd the overheads is that they're probably missing this 200 hertz boost that I did. So this is giving body to the snare. And during that drum fill, I would even automate it so it's giving a bit more body to the snare. But here... It's like in newspapers. Yeah, it's, it's a subtle difference, but I like my snare, uh, the, the drum fill there a bit better, and the overall snare sound. I mean, it's not that noticeable during the rest of the song where everything else is playing, but the, the, the drum fill here reveals that the snare that they mixed in is lacking a bit in the body in the 200 hertz area, so I like mine better. Uh, so that's a happy accident, I guess. Okay, so... This is 40 minutes, and this is usually the point where I'd be sending the mix to the artist, basically. So I guess I'll print this out and leave a link down in the description for you to download the mix I did. And I encourage you to download the tracks from their website and do your own mix and see how how close you come to mine or their mix. Their mix is also great. It, it does capture the really nice folk feel of the song. And it was brilliantly recorded, so I guess shout out is due to the Roswell microphone company. So if you're looking to buy some microphones, I guess you couldn't go wrong with these. Alrighty, hope to see you in the next video and take care. Thank you.